Stash Cash, and this is March 5th, 2023. And tonight's subject matter regards life insurance, which I believe is, in my opinion, the most important insurance policy somebody could have. Uh, the reason why I say that is life is a singular event, um, death is a singular event. And uh, it's one of the most important policies, actually, I, like I said, the most important policy I believe you can have. Uh, the, d the difference here is that it's not a mandatory policy. You don't have to uh, pick it up. Um, no one's going to make you get it, unlike uh, auto, where it might be required, or if you have uh, a home and if you have a mortgage where it might be required. This is strictly optional. But... Imagine a family of uh, four and you're the breadwinner. You've got two young kids. Something happens to, to you, God forbid, and you're not around. What would happen in terms of the mortgage payment? What would happen in terms of life uh, for your family that you've, you may have left behind? And even further along in life, let's say, you live to be a, a relatively, uh, to a relatively advanced age, you still have family and they're still going to have to take um, care of you. And um, in terms of like expenses, like funerals, funeral uh, costs and all that, which I'll break down. But <clears throat> in regards to life insurance, there's a, a few different policies that are there. There's actually something called term and term is strictly what it sounds like, it's term. So it's you can relate it to like a lease on a car uh, or an apartment lease. Um, you pay a certain amount for a certain period of time, certain premium for a certain period of time, a certain death benefit. And once that time period has elapsed, you've made the same payments. So let's say it was a 20 year term, you paid a certain amount uh, for 20 years. After 20 years is over, then you know you pretty much have to start all over again unless you want to go ahead and pay the expensive one-year annual renewal but for the most part 20-year term it's there for you for 20 years um, if you happen to survive the term then you pretty much have to start over okay uh, there's another one which is called return a premium a silly question might be this if i could show you a way to protect uh, your family and yourself and it not cost you anything, how soon would you like to know? Okay, well, that's kind of re what return of premium is. Uh, you would actually pay for a certain time period, a certain premium with a certain death benefit. But after uh, that term is up, not only uh, does the policy now end, but a feature to it is you get all your money back, every single penny. So they've returned your premium, okay? Uh, that actually costs a little bit more than what it costs for term. So progressively, as um, you get some additional features and benefits, then you know you can expect the price to be uh, higher, okay, than the basic term. Uh, there's also permanent policies such as whole life and universal. Um, what I'll just speak on right now is the whole life policy, and it, it is basically what it's supposed to be, protecting you for your entire life. Uh, that is going to be a more costly policy uh, and stash cash on March 5th, 2023 is going to tell you why. Okay, You're paying for your security. It's supposed to protect you your entire life. And yes, it does cost more, but there are a couple features uh, to the whole life policy here, which make it attractive for uh, some people that are out there, right? Not one size it's all in life insurance. It's a preference and what's, whatever is most important to you. Uh, but one of the things it does is that the initial death benefit that you sign up for in a whole life policy, that actually increases every single year. Your payment doesn't increase, but your death benefit does. The death benefit going to your beneficiaries. Another feature that's attractive on a whole life policy is that you actually build what's called cash value. So if you own a home, right, it's similar to equity. Okay, so equity, you can pull cash out through a refinance if you need, or through a home equity line of credit. 
if you need to use that money. In uh, life insurance, you have something called cash value, which builds over time, and you can use that for whatever you want as well. All right. Um, so those are attractive features to the whole life policy. And then the third one, you know, once again, is it lasts you your entire life. And because you have those three additional features there, which for some people love, okay, it's one of those things that you might pay more for because you want to make sure it's there for you. You want to um, make sure uh, that you're going to have um, a source to dip in and maybe grab some money or emergency money later on um, in life. And so here's a component to every life life insurance policy. Okay, whether it be whole, term, return of premium, there's always going to be at least one beneficiary. So what's a beneficiary? The beneficiary is um, the person who actually you make um, as a recipient for the funds uh, once you pass on. Uh, and you can actually have more than one beneficiary if you want, or you can have a successor beneficiary, which could succeed the person um, who you made the beneficiary in case they are not around. Okay. And so that's, uh, it's an important thing uh, to make sure that you know, because you want to make sure that, you know, the money that you've put away for your life insurance to help uh, your family or loved one or whoever it is you might want to pick is the actual beneficiary that you want, okay? And when the money gets paid out to the beneficiary, that is normally a tax-free uh, payment, okay? So unlike retirement, this would be like a tax-free payment. What can the beneficiary do? Well, basically whatever they want to do with it. Hopefully they'll be spending that money, at least part of it, and um, to actually help to pay for your funeral expenses. Okay, so in a funeral, there are several components to that as well. There's uh, first and foremost, the services themselves. Uh, secondly, there's things like the casket. Okay, that costs money as well. Um, there's a headstone, a gravestone, and then there's also the land. Um, the land is actual real estate, uh, and that actually goes up. It typically tends to double roughly, I would say, uh, from what I'm hearing, uh, it usually doubles every nine years, something roughly to that amount. But the cemetery has a finite amount of space. Okay. And so you want to consider all those things when you're selecting your, your death benefit, at least if you are going to go for a permanent policy, because the permanent policies, like I said, they do cost more, but they last you your entire life. Okay. Um, <clears throat> the other thing when you have a funeral is there's, also some other expenses that you need to make sure that you plan out for. And some of them is the service after the service. So what I mean by that is when somebody gets buried, they might have a luncheon um, during the viewing services, okay? The visitation services, you guys might have food um, in a break area. And there's all those figures in uh, there that you need to account for. So it's not cheap at all. And definitely when someone passes away, there's never a right time. But you wouldn't want to be the one that's left hanging with a bunch of those expenses. It's hard enough to grieve because of the loss of a loved one. On top of that, now you have the financial stress uh, on making everything happen and coordinating um, the services themselves. So it is definitely a lot to think about. Life insurance is one of those things over here which can give peace of mind to the beneficiaries so that they don't have to worry about the financial stress or the burden. Uh, it can also, you know, help alleviate uh, some things that, you know, could be looming in the back. So if there's a high enough uh, payout for life insurance, aside from funeral expenses, you know, once again, these things could be used for whatever you want to. So if there's any mortgage uh, that's left. So imagine uh, a family, you know, they, they live in a million dollar home, have a $500,000 mortgage. Um, someone passes away, either the one of the parents pass away, they got a million dollar life policy, well, they can pay out their $500,000 mortgage uh, if, if need be. All right. And then they'll have some money to help, uh, to help set aside and raise the kids. Okay. So life insurance can definitely buy some time. 
uh, but it, but it actually buys peace of mind. And it's not peace of mind maybe for us, you know, which it could be, but it's definitely peace of mind for your your beneficiaries because you care about them. And so what I would say is uh, talk to your trusted life insurance expert and get all the details and see what's right for you. Um, with that being said, uh, this is Life Insurance brought to you by Stash Cash on March 5th, 2023. Thank you.